love that. I can exchange. Very cool. From the camping couple. What a really cool geocache. This is the most creative one I've seen. Yeah, but so no wonder it has it has 66 favorite points so far. And we're gonna put in a, a path tag or two. And we can add some pins. Yep. Yeah. And uh, we have pens. Yeah, you know we might have some pens too. Yeah. Awesome. What a neat, neat cat. We're gonna put in a pen. Yep. And some pins. And a couple of the Cash Canada path tags. A calling card from Cash Canada. And a Geocache Talk Network card. Very cool. And we're going to take one of the caching couple pins for our geocache bag. Nice. Thanks very much, guys. Awesome geocache. An exchange here. Okay. Path tags go in here. It's the first cache of the day here. We're on the west side of Okanagan Valley. Yep. And it said, welcome to Peachland. And the cache was right behind there. It was an awesome geocache. So let's go get some more. But first, I think a swim. Yes. Yes. We're right here at a beach, so why not? This is another one of our target caches. Has a lot of favorite points. Let's see. Uh, it's just a fence post cap. Whoa! Batter up! It's at a baseball diamond. That's cool, I think. It's from the Louisville Slugger Museum, and we were there. And I might transfer this idea to London, because London has the oldest continuously operating baseball park in the world, if not North America. Look that one up. Labatt Park, London, Ontario. This is one that I spotted on the map. It's a three and a half difficulty. And I honed in directly onto the telephone pole and found it almost right off. So Lyric Glass has finally got the log out. We have one like this at home and it's called Larry the Cable Guy. So as soon as you see this, uh, you just hone right in on it and, and get it right away. So this one is in a piece of coaxial cable attached to the side of the pole but it doesn't go anywhere. It's cut off. <laughs> Next up, a lunch break, where we noticed a high difficulty cache very close by. Oh. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> It looks bigger in the picture. It does. Shibing. Good eyes. Yeah. Just saw the edge of it, just peeking out. And we saw a picture of it in the, one of the logs from the caches. We were just over here having a drink and uh, lunch from our last uh, geocache. And then uh, just checked this one out and said there's a five, three and a half at the bus stop. So we had to stop. Five, three and a half. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. Yeah, the awesome. pin's not working very well. Not quite what we had expected, though. We thought it was on the outside, one of the black strips. Oh, but it's that spot. Got it. Got it. Got it. You get it. You got, got it. it. Got it. Good. <laughs> this one, this one's rated at a five. You know, and I, I you know, I hate to laugh, but it is so easy. It's. <laughs> I was looking around for some fake bolts and into tiny holes. It's just a magnetic container <laughs> inside the little drain. That's all it is. It's a common hide in Ontario. Yeah, so uh, I'll take that, it's a five. 